Hello, how's it going? So I came out here for another video. Now I'm in uh, Lynn Canyon or Lynn Headwaters Provincial Park um, on Lynn Creek. It's just such a beautiful spot. Um, I thought I would come out and do some creek photography today. Um, it's a very overcast day, which actually makes a natural softbox, which means that there's no highlights, there's no shadows or very little of them. Um, so when you're pointing the camera down or towards water, uh, it just makes it like a really nice time to, to shoot during the day. Um, you don't have to wait for sunset or sunrise. You can just come out here all day. So I have with me my Nikon D750. That's my go-to digital SLR at the moment. And I have a couple of lenses. I have the 16 to 35 F4. That's my wide angle lens. I also have my 70 to 200 2.8. That's my semi uh, telephoto lens. So between the two of them, um, I should get some pretty nice shots. And of course I have a tripod uh, so that when the exposures are uh, a little bit longer, like one or two seconds, um, I use the tripod. It's a, it's a must uh, to just make sure that there's no camera shake in the shots. I typically use a two second self timer so I don't actually push down the shutter button to release the shutter that also avoids the camera shake. Yeah, so I think it'll be a great day. Try to get a couple of shots here and I'll uh, show you as I do it and how I do it. And uh, I'll show you the photos afterwards. So I have my polarizer here. Just always have to give it a good wipe. And I'm gonna make sure that my polarizer is engaged. There's the polarizing. Yeah, it just kind of darkens it up and that's yeah, a nice composition. So I'm basically using those big rocks in the foreground. Um, yeah, it's kind of like a, a very basic composition, but It'll be the, the first one, I think. It's going to bring it up a little bit. Yeah, brings it down. Maybe if I could bring this in. Yeah, there. that's actually nicer. <laughs> so it just, it totally uh, sounded like a bear just now crashing through the woods kind of behind me. I am uh, in a little bit of a more remote spot here and there are bears in the area. So I do have bear spray, so it should be fine. Um, I guess we'll see. Um, but yeah, so coming back to how I'm shooting this, um, so I'm using that polarizing filter and I, I tried uh, before with the polarizing only and I only had about one second um, of the exposure. And so the one second exposure wasn't enough. It didn't really do anything for me. Um, I mean, it definitely had like a really nice, it, it like had a really nice look with the um, lack of glare or no glare and of course <laughs> bear again a little distracted anyway okay so basically coming back to what I just said um, so I used the polarizing filter I got a one second exposure which was nice it cuts the glare um, it looked good uh, but I wanted more of an exposure time I wanted a longer exposure than that um, I wanted an exposure that was going to be at least maybe like six or seven seconds and so when I put the the Lee uh, Little Stopper, which is a six stop ND, it slowed the exposure down to 10 seconds. And what that did is if you, if you can look, you know, you see in front of me, I have these big rocks that are under the water. And with the polarizing filter, it's cutting the glare so you can see it. When you have a faster exposure, um, all the current, you can't actually see through it. Um, but when you slow the exposure down, like 10 seconds or more, um, it really does show through. So then you have this beautiful foreground, which is all the big rocks under the water. Um, it's making for a great shot. And I love, this, is, this shot is exactly kind of like what I was hoping for. It's quite wide. So I have this one rock on the left-hand side, and then it goes all the way into like where the, you know, the creek is coming through all these big rocks. So I'm just gonna get a few more shots and I'll show a couple of these ones now.
hope that you enjoy the photographs and that you learned a little bit about slow exposure photography. Subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.